I don't travel for holidays. I don't travel for vacation. I travel because I need to work and provide for my family. As a pro tennis official working around the globe, Damiano Torella is not exempt from quarantine when he comes home. The cost of a quarantine hotel means he needs to choose between not working or a lengthy time away from his wife and young children. He welcomes the new report calling on the government to scrap the hotel program, citing a variety of problems. I think uh, it would be finally something based on common sense and science, and not just politics. We do not have evidence that, that shows that we have actually reduced the transmission of the virus through the quarantine hotels. And, uh, and remember, the, the quarantine period for those hotels is only three days, which is inconsistent with the science around the, the incubation period. The advisory panel also suggests looser quarantine rules overall instead of two weeks. For people who aren't vaccinated, it recommends a test on day seven and an end to quarantine whenever a negative result comes back. People with one dose would only need to quarantine until a test taken on arrival day comes back negative. And for those fully vaccinated, the panel recommends no quarantine unless a test taken at arrival comes back positive. It is quite a complex space and needs a thoughtful consideration. The move is welcomed by airline and travel industries and Canadians like Melinda Schneider, separated from her boyfriend in Denmark while both attend school. I understood being very, very, very restrictive and very protected when they didn't know how to treat it, when there was no preventative anything, When there, but we know so much more now. But the premier of the country's biggest province again called on the prime minister for more border protections. This could cause a fourth wave if we don't uh, tighten up the borders. Friday, the UK Prime Minister confirmed Justin Trudeau plans to attend the next G7 summit in person. It's in two weeks. It would be Trudeau's first foreign trip since before the pandemic, and there's no word yet as to whether the Canadian government plans to drop the quarantine requirement before he returns. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.